Mm -hmm. <laughs> My little buddy Sophia is hanging out today. She wasn't feeling well, but she's starting to get better. So she's playing a little hooky, but she's still gonna learn something today because I brought out some of the snakes at Camp Kennedy because so many of you have been asking about them. Now that we got a new little habitat for them to slither around in, I figured it's a good time for you to meet some of the other guys. So we're gonna do that on today's episode. Our animal mission is simple. Education in action, conservation in action. This is Camp Kennedy. Okay, so we're gonna start with, who's your favorite snake? Colin. Colin, all right, so Colin is her favorite snake. He's a coastal carpet python. And most of the time these guys are a little bit nippy, but Colin is not. He's pretty friendly, so I'm gonna get him out first. Okay, and Sophia loves this snake. Now these guys are from Eastern, where are they from? Eastern Australia, and he just loves to climb. So she's gonna put her hands out, let him sniff you, let him use his tongue. There you go, see, we want him to, you wanna hold him? She really loves this snake, but we gotta be gentle around his head, right? Oh yeah, she's looking back at mom because mom happens to be terrified of snakes. I don't know what her deal is. We gotta, we gotta help Kate out. But Sophia loves Colin. And in fact, Sophia's my little buddy around the camp because she's always showing people around and she's giving tours with me. So it's a lot of fun. And I just wanna show people that snakes aren't scary animals. You just have to learn to read their body language and we don't, we don't mess with their heads. We allow them to freely move around. Okay, so Colin is a male. He's named after my buddy Colin Shoemark from Australia, you can check him out at Critter Cam on YouTube. Those guys are a lot of fun and we'll be visiting them soon. What do you think? Do you love snakes? What do you love most about snakes? That they slither around. That they slither around? This is totally giving them She's Kate. She's choking, She's choking. Oh yeah, see, and this is something we don't want. This is a good thing right here. He's just holding on and I shouldn't be putting him around the neck and that's just a good lesson, especially a little one. See, she let me know that he was squeezing and it wasn't to hurt her, it was just to hold on, right? Because he doesn't have legs. So you never want to put the snake around your neck. You want to try and drape him over his shoulder, but every once in a while they'll slither around. Certainly not a constrictor. She's, you want to go talk to mom? Go talk to mom if you want. You're going to stay here? All right, wow. So anyway, I really love this snake. Um, I actually got him from a friend's sister who uh, could no longer care for him. They felt bad because he just kind of hung out in a tank all the time. And see, since it's winter here in Florida, right now he's in a vision cage in the reptile room and it's kind of boring. But uh, eventually, wait until you guys see what I'm gonna be doing for my snakes this summer. I think you guys are gonna love it. I'm gonna have some, whoa, cool exhibits. <laughs> and I just fell, I just fell off this hook. Can we edit that out by any chance? Maybe. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Anyway, I just fell a little bit and he clunked his head a little. He's okay though. So I got Colin from a friend's sister and she actually uh, felt bad because, you know, they didn't have time for him anymore. And and he uh, basically was just kind of hanging out in the back room in a tank. Now, I'm gonna be building some really cool snake enclosures this summer. I think you guys are gonna be psyched on them. So that's why I wanted to get you reacquainted with the snakes because right now, all the snakes do in the winter is hang out in their little uh, vision cages, which I'm not a fan of because it's just something that is um, kind of boring and you guys know how I like to do things. I like to really go big and make really cool habitats. So that's Colin. We're gonna put Colin away. Or do you wanna just hold on to Colin? Okay, you hold on to Colin, and you just holler if he gets too much for you. All right, so you stand over there, because I'm going to pull out the next snake, okay? Uh -huh. You just let me know if there's any drama. Okay. All right. Good grief. She learned how to pick him up also, which is really cool. You want to let him go down. Let him slither on the ground. And then you can kind of go down there. Yeah, and I want, to show, I want you to show us how you gently pick the snake up, okay? We've been learning a lot. And as you can see, uh, the place he's is still a little bit... Arm, he's wrapping around your arm to hold on. He's an arboreal snake, so he uses this like another hand, like a hand, a prehensile tail. But you can see the yard's still kind of in construction mode because of the pond. It looks like a tea. All right, you going to pick him up? Let's see. You can do it. Just get right on under there. Put your hands under. That's a good girl. Good girl. 
I just think it's really cool when a young person starts to learn how to handle snakes and loses that fear. Um, now obviously there are some snakes and one of them I'm going to pull out here in a little bit that I don't want her to handle because he's just not a friendly snake. But Colin has been very good to me and very good to Sophia so I thought it would be cool to show you guys. Now I know a lot of people get nervous, they think that's a dangerous animal, it's not. Uh, you know, a bite would hurt but like I said we're being gentle with Colin, we're letting him do his thing and Sophia has been handling him now for almost a year, right? Okay, now he's... Now he's wrapped on you. You just grab his tail, pull him off, and we're going to put Colin away. Let's get our next snake. And obviously there are snakes that I feel comfortable allowing Sophia to handle and snakes that I'm not. And right now we're just going to... We're going to see this guy. This is my Timor python. I only brought one Timor out because it's just too many to handle. So I only brought one Timor and you can see this one likes to musk. And that's something that snakes do from time to time. They are definitely muskers. This one... <laughs> This one's a character, but how beautiful is this snake? And you can just see, I don't think Sophia would want to hold this because he's making stinkies and he's just very skittish. And I just don't want to take the chance of having Sophia have a bad experience at a young age with a snake. Let's go on over here and let's just put the snake down and just take a look at how it moves. I'm really excited to do this. Oh, he's making a poopy. Ah, gross. Let's see where he goes. Go on, buddy. Look at that, taken right to the water, no problem. I gotta make sure he doesn't find a crevice that he can hide it. Come on over here, son, look at this. So this is really cool, isn't it? To see snakes in more of a natural habitat. Look at how fast my girlfriend moves. Look, look at that. Look at this, guys, so cool. This is awesome, man. It's so cool to see this snake in kind of a natural habitat. Should we let it swim? Oh boy. Look at that, oh boy. Very cool. So this is fun, man. I love doing this kind of stuff. This snake gets around really well. These guys are called Timor pythons, but as we know, and maybe if you've seen in videos past, they're actually not found on the island of Timor. Where you can find them is on Komodo. These guys are found where the Komodo dragon lives. They call them Timor pythons. It was kind of a mistaken identity, but the name stuck. They're very closely related to the reticulated python in many ways but they don't get to be as massive. Seven foot is about gonna be the full size. And look, this guy's gonna poop again. Ugh, let's get the poop in there. Anyway, so cool, man, but they're beautiful. I just love this snake. It's, it's an active snake. Uh, in the summer, they have that really nice outdoor arboreal enclosure. Ah, oh, there's a nice poop. He gave me another one. But anyway, these guys here love to be in trees. They fly around the trees looking for food. They'll come down on the ground and they're just a really high energy snake that some people just, oh man, I just really love them. You don't see a lot of them in captivity. My Timors came from the Bronx Zoo where they bred a bunch of them and they needed homes, so I was lucky enough to get this one. And he is just awesome. But look at the face on this guy. And you can see from the last video, this guy's definitely getting bigger. So that's awesome, man. They are actually, like I said, more active, so you have to feed them more often uh, than other snakes. So these guys eat a few times a month and uh, they do well for it. So nice, healthy snake, lot of activity on him, and he's coming to say hello to you guys. So again, you know, what we're trying to do is build up confidence with her and let her understand the different personalities of snakes and that they're gonna behave differently. And I want her to use her best judgment. So as comfortable as she is, that's all we're gonna allow happen. If she just wanted to touch her, I wanted to start to really understand that some snakes are different. And she knows, hey Sophia, if you see a snake slithering around in the grass, what do you do? Don't touch it. Say it loud. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. See, she knows. I tell her to leave any snake that I'm not with her alone. Don't touch any snakes in the backyard because they're not always like our snakes that we keep here in captivity. All right, so we're gonna put the Timor Python back and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you a lunatic snake. Uh, she calls him Fasty, but I'm gonna call him uh, Lucifer. Um, this is my hog island boa, one of the hog islands. I pulled him out. Both hog islands are kind of cantankerous. I just don't handle them much. They have such a crazy feed response. But they're a beautiful snake. It's a boa constrictor found on the hog islands in the Caribbean, and they just don't get big. So this should be interesting, guys, because I am gonna risk myself here and hold the snake. Oh, but look at that. I just love hog island boas. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the hog island down, and I'm gonna show you 
just how they like to. These are a, a ground boa. They will kind of go up into trees when they're smaller. Um, they're kind of an all-terrain boa, but uh, they do like to hide on the ground. So we're gonna get some shots of this snake in more of a natural habitat, and I really love it. Now, he will strike out at me, uh, so I might take a hit, but it's all for education. It's not to really make this guy uncomfortable. I don't want to stress him out. I just want to get him out and get used to hanging out with me. Now, obviously, this is a snake I don't want Sophia to handle. But you can see right now that defensive positioning. Uh, he is a little nervous, but I do want him to kind of relax and start to slither around and investigate things. See how he, he definitely does S up. So that's body language. For those of you who don't know snakes, you just want to relax with them. You want to be calm. And even if you do everything right, you might take a little bit of a hit. This snake's looking to go into the grass. I just love this. Let's see if he'll go in the water as well. He's being a good boy, actually. So this is good that I pulled him out because the more I can pull them out and get them used to me, the better they're going to be. Now, the hog island bows, as you can see, are not, they're more of a muted color than a regular boa constrictor. Um, they have this muted coloration. It's from where they're at uh, in the Caribbean. Uh, this is so they blend into their uh, natural habitat, but they don't get as large as the nominant race of boa constrictor. But I, I love them. I think they're a beautiful snake and they're, you know, just incredible live bearers like most boas here. Uh, and they just do very well in captivity. And again, this is another snake that you don't see a lot of. And look at this. Look at this. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? I don't trust you. Where are you looking for? What are you looking for? Oh, he wants to go hide in that grass. Let's see if he'll slither into this. Whoa, gosh, he just bumped me a little bit. Wow. There you go. How cool, man. Isn't that awesome? I think he's a rad snake. And it's fun just to follow them around and see what they're up to. I like to give these guys exercise. And it's just an important part of what I think is their husbandry. Uh, some people disagree with me. I don't care. <laughs> I like seeing animals out and about and getting stretched out. So this is how the snake wants to live. It wants to explore, wants to stretch its body out. I apologize for the construction mess over here. Uh, not exactly its natural habitat when it's crawling over electrical cord, but you know, what are you going to do? Um, I just love them so much. So these guys only get a little bit bigger, maybe five foot, and uh, that'll be full grown for the Hog Island boa. So I just love the way they're moving. Isn't that awesome? I get excited when I see a snake in the grass. But what do you say we pull out our final serpent? Are you gonna be good to me? I oh know. boy, there it is. Don't do it. I'm gonna have to take a hit. If I gotta take a hit, I'll take a hit. It's just funny how the snake comes right to your face and I don't trust it, so let's put it back. Maybe a little bit, a little bit more, uh, more closeness time and we'll be all right. But he's being okay. I just know what he's done before. He could be kind of a jerk sometimes. All right, Lucifer, back in here. All right, so I think you guys know who's the final snake. We haven't seen her in a little bit. Let's pull her out. Princess Buttercup, that's my girl. I love you. So I know she can appreciate a dip. So I like to get her out. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. She's heavy. Definitely over 100 pounds. Oh. Golly. All right. So here's my girl. And for those of you new to Camp Cannon, You've seen me swim with Princess Buttercup. Well, now she can hang out in her own pond from time to time. Come on, girl. And she's squeezing, but only because she doesn't want to get dropped. And they use that nose to just probe around fishing. She's gonna slither into the water. This is really cool. How do we love that guy? Isn't that awesome? God, I love that snake. And this is fun because I don't mind her hanging out, doing her thing in the water. So I've had her now for a few years. She was uh, given to me by a gentleman who just wasn't 
able to care for any longer because his health was failing. And she's such a heavy snake, and you need to have the uh, you need to have those um, permits for her. And he just felt like he couldn't care for her any longer. So here she is now, and I think she loves the water. What do you think, Sophia? You can come over here with Buttercup. She's a good girl. Come stand by me, and you can watch her with me. I know Mom is still thrilled. You sit over here. Look at that. See this? So this is really the coolest thing about having snakes in my opinion. I don't have a lot of snakes because I want to be able to do things like this with them and get them out, get them stretched out and happy. And that's exactly what we're doing right now. And I think this is cool to see Buttercup doing her thing in the new pond. What do you guys think? Leave me some comments below. I want to hear what snakes you guys have. And I'd also like to hear what ideas you'd like for us to do uh, in the future, man. Whether it be snakes, lizards, reptiles, any other animal, we want to hear from you guys. And we appreciate that you're supporting us by subscribing to the Camp Kennan channel. And don't forget to subscribe to the Camp Kennan Army channel. Show me how you keep your snakes. I want to see videos and maybe some videos that can inspire us to keep snakes in a more natural way instead of in just plastic bins. So I want to see those videos. So head on over to the Camp Kennan Army and subscribe to that as well. So there you have it folks, a few of the snakes of Camp Kennan. We got the Doomerels boas, there's a video on them I did a couple months ago so I didn't want to repeat myself. And I do have a few other snake species I'd like to get and you'll know it as soon as I get them. Thanks so much guys, don't forget to subscribe and say goodbye Sophia. Bye. Alright guys, we'll talk to you soon. Bye Buttercup. She seems happy, huh? She's hiding in the water. Look, she's all stretched out, soaking in the water. She's long.